From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top story, civil aviation investigators headed to Abaco to try to determine why a plane ended up in flames and bushes off the runway at Treasure Key Airport yesterday afternoon. The two persons on board, identified by sources as pilots Jason Allen and LeVar Paul, both died in that crash. Investigators are now trying to determine what happened. The plane was coming from the Dominican Republic, not clear why it stopped in Treasure Key at this point. Increasing concern about the COVID-19 situation in the country. More hospitalizations being reported. Now 59 persons now being treated, two of them in the ICU. Eight more confirmed cases for Sunday, all in the capital. Officials still don't know if that Delta variant is in the country yet. Another corona death has been confirmed, a 48-year-old New Providence man. That takes the total to 251 now, with some cases still pending. Health Minister Wells confirming there is a vaccine shortage right now, but he says... They're working on it, and there's no need to panic. The Bahamian people don't have to panic. As I said, this administration from the beginning, we had decided that whatever it is that we are going to do within the confines of health and safety rules to continue to vaccinate our people that we're going to do. Confirmation now the government is negotiating with a Caribbean country to get some 20,000 doses. Prime Minister Minister says the next shipment from COVAX should be in the country this month sometime. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Forecasters continue to track tropical storm Elsa well to the southwest of us. The storm expected to make landfall in Florida at some point. No major impacts for us. Opposition leader Davis accusing Prime Minister Minnis of seeking to confuse people over the next elections. That in reaction to the Prime Minister's registered to vote in the shortest possible time comment made over the weekend. Social Services Minister Campbell scrambling for PR cover following a defaming social media post about him, claiming the minister impregnated the daughter of an alleged sweetheart. The minister strongly denying that says the post was not only untrue but was embarrassing to him in his professional capacity. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. Elsa off to the southwest, partly sunny and breezy. Highs in the upper 80s today, 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. Caution flags are up for boaters, winds getting up to 20 knots, the sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. High tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. Forecasters continue to watch Tropical Storm Elsa. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader, 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Tuesday's World News headlines, Tropical Storm Elsa now approaching Florida after lashing Cuba with heavy rain and some wind. The Cuban government evacuated almost 200,000 persons ahead of the storm. The damage report not in as yet. Pope Francis said to be alert and well following intestinal surgery, that from the Vatican. It's not known how long it will take the 84-year-old pontiff to fully recover. The search continues for bodies in the rubble of that collapsed condo in Florida. The death toll is now 27, confirmed still more than 100 not accounted for. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 509, SO507, Rubis $5, one cent per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Count down to the Olympics in Tokyo. But before that, we're sending a 40-member track and field team to Costa Rica tomorrow. Find out who's on it in the Tribune Sports. The Olympic hype is underway. The Tribune Sports featuring the women sprinters 
headed for Tokyo. The NBA Finals begin tonight. DeAndre on the Suns against Milwaukee. Get a preview. There's a soccer update in the Tribune Sports. More from Wimbledon. And get the latest Major League Baseball news, including an injury update on Jazz Chisholm. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.